This is Mission Control Houston. The International Space Station's Expedition 30 crew put in a lot of science time this week, despite having the week shortened somewhat by a holiday and uh, also going through some unexpected events on their schedule. The week kicked off on Monday with the crew having time off duty in observance of the Russian Christmas holiday, although most of the crew members uh, did some exercise on the advanced resistive exercise device, which was downlinked for review by specialists in Houston. That's done in order to verify that the crew members are performing the exercise properly, as well as to evaluate the performance of the equipment itself. On Monday, Station Commander Dan Burbank also had an amateur radio talk with some high school students near Paris, and Russian crew members started a week-long effort to provide video for a Russian television program for kids about science that's known as Science 2.0. On Tuesday, crew members began gathering science data immediately after wake-up, taking body mass measurements and calf volume measurements, Data of that nature is gathered for ongoing research into how a person's body responds to spending an extended period of time in the absence of gravity. Each day, the crew members have two physical workouts to help them combat the bone and muscle loss that comes as a result of a long-duration trip in space. The science gathering continued through the week as the crew members spent time variously with experiments gathering more physical data including measurements of oxygen uptake during exercise. That experiment, known as the VO2 max experiment, uh, closely monitors a crew member's uh, respiration while they are exercising, so the specialists on the ground can determine if they are getting enough oxygen while they exercise, and if needed to make adjustments to their exercise routines. Crew members also conducted ultrasound examinations of their eyes, they monitored cardiovascular function during exercise, and they also uh, took tests of their own reaction time to uh, measure the impact on them of the fatigue from being in space. Burbank spent time during the week today, uh, during the week also removing a secondary power distribution assembly jumper in the Destiny Laboratory. That was another step to get the systems into the proper configuration to support next month's planned commercial cargo demonstration flight to the International Space Station. Andre Kalpers also had an opportunity in a European Space Agency public affairs event to speak with the Prime Minister of the Netherlands and students at Delft University in the city of Delft. On Wednesday, Burbank installed a spare communications unit that's also needed for the flight of that commercial cargo ship, Dragon, and he finished some annual maintenance on the waste hygiene compartment, changing out hydraulic components. Flight engineers Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin worked stowing items in the progress supply ship that is attached to the uh, pier's docking compartment, and they did other preparations for the undocking of that vehicle, which is targeted for Monday, January 23rd. Flight engineer Oleg Kononenko spent a big part of the day on Wednesday monitoring the refilling of cooling loops in the environmental control system in the Russian segment of the station, as well as taking some microbial air samples. Flight engineer Don Pettit on Wednesday activated the NanoRax experiment, which is a new experiment on the station, which uh, is processing material science samples in that microgravity environment. On Thursday, station commanders set up and executed a protocol to scrub the cooling loops of two of the extravehicular mobility units, the uh, space suits that are worn by crew members when they do spacewalks out of the Quest airlock in the Russian, the uh, rather the American segment of the station. Uh, Burbank did that and joined uh, Kalpers and Pettit to discuss the progress of their mission in an on-orbit interview with the Weather Channel. On Thursday, the team in mission control in Houston began planning a debris avoidance maneuver after the trajectory operations officers determined that a piece of communications satellite debris was on course to pass close by the station on two consecutive orbits on Friday afternoon. The uh, Zvezda module's engines were used to perform that maneuver Friday morning to move the station away from that anticipated conjunction. The maneuver also served to put the station into the proper orbit to support 
the arrival of a new Progress supply ship in two weeks' time, January 27th, that will be arriving with a new load of food, fuel, clothing, and experiment supplies to help keep the Expedition 30 crew members supplied and hard at work on orbit.